Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 12th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, having a look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, anything affecting humanity. Starting out here, looking at our sun, 304 angstroms, large plasma filaments dancing away on the bottom right-hand side. Looking at incoming images here, we did just recently have a small earth-facing solar flare yet again observing outgoing images here all that plasma whipping around and that was the area that the sun diving comet had ran into the area observing here this sunspot region here which has released already three solar flares just released yet another one and it looks like a small C or M-class solar flare, not really sure yet, no confirmation just yet, it's still pretty new. Another quick look at it here, multi-spectrum, and as well 511 angstroms here, no earth-facing coronal holes, but we do have that earth-facing sunspot, which has released yet another one, and we're observing here incoming sunspot on the back side. So yes, we did experience a G4 geomagnetic storm and it showed on the maps everywhere overlooking the Aurora forecast for the next two days. Look at that over parts of Russia and Finland. And then, yes, it will be coming to North America. Um, if you didn't see it last night, they did light up last night as well. But over Russia and parts of Western Europe, you're going to see it light up tonight. Overlooking our magnetosphere, see how our shield took and is taking all this energy right now. And as suspicious observers noted today, it looks like it's not taking it very well. Looking at our Schumann resonance for today, a power of 53. Nice, healthy spike there midday. Gee, I wonder why. Amplitude of 53 and a quality of 7.8. Have a quick look at earthquakes, of course, the last 24 hours, and it's been busy. We're going to start out here with the largest earthquake, which was reported today, 6.7 at a 10 kilometer depth east of Reunion and Mauritius Islands sizable earthquake especially during the time of all the space weather and look at all these other sizable earthquakes popping off a 5.9 there el salvador as well as a 5.6 now this is a warned region last night central america south america 5.3 peru as well 5.5 peru so very active and ubinus is alive so yes this weekend volcanic and cover report i'm sure we're going to be adding a couple more Overlooking small quakes throughout Puerto Rico today, largest being a 3.8 as well. 3.0 to report here, Missouri. That's right, it doesn't happen often, but there is one there as well. 3.0 here in California as well. Seven Trees, California, Shasta Lake, California. And as well, this 3.7 reported yesterday off the coast of Oregon. But interesting. Earthquake. Where? Where were they saying? Shasta Lake? Hmm. We're going to look more into that in just a moment. Overlooking earthquakes in Alaska. Tsunami alert went out with that 5.1. As well, Kuril Islands still rocking. Japan still rocking. As well, Philippines. They saw a sizable earthquake today as well. 
Indonesia 5.3, Philippines 5.7. So yeah, we definitely did see an uptick as forewarned in last night's video. So please share with your friends and family this channel from around the world as I like to keep humanity aware and prepared. As well at 4.6 here, 10 kilometer depth, Iran to report. And our deepest earthquake the last 24 hours, a 4.3 just recently, 557 kilometer depth. So our earthquake event is not over. I'm sure of it. Overlooking the North American plate here, USGS, the last seven days for earthquakes. You can see a line of small quakes now, pretty much from Carolina, stretching through Tennessee and Missouri, right over into White City, New Mexico. And you can see all along the west coast there, a lot of orange, a lot of red, still small microquakes, but a couple notables here around Mono Lake, Tom's Place, and as well Mammoth Mountains, keeping an eye on that region. As well, another earthquake, Truckee, Lake Tahoe. And then, yeah, this notable 2.7 earthquake north of Shasta Lake, south of Shasta Mountain, which is a pretty sizable triple volcano. Yeah. That's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Have a quick look at the last seven days. As, yeah, we definitely did see an increase in seismicity through the warned regions, Central America, South America, just waiting for Cascades to go here next and northward towards Alaska. Quite possibly a large earthquake we could be expecting in the next 24 hours. Deep thrust Fiji quake. Quiet African plate. And starting to increase up into Europe and into the North Pole, but still yet quiet across the North American plate. Stay aware and prepared and have a plan. Let's have a look here at the Pacific Disaster Center. Most recent volcanoes to update. Looking at Dokono, Indonesia, as well as Semeru, Indonesia, Fuego in Guatemala, Sinabung, Indonesia, as well as Reventador in Ecuador, Popo in Mexico, Nevada de Chilean, Colombia, Pacaya, tsunami watch there, ringing off. As well, Sabancaya in Peru, Sufri, Sufriere, La Sufriere. And look at all those storm warnings, torn, or storm warnings and flood warnings ringing off across every continent right now. Daily moisture is increasing. World moisture is increasing. And it's evident. Looking across the United States, watch for rains to head through Gulf states and then eastward. Long range forecast shows a lot of moisture moving in. And it looks like Tropical Storm Andrus has disappeared. But I know where that low pressure center is. And it did go northeast into the Gulf. Tsunami watch there, but no imminent, not imminent. And then here we have a tropical storm that has just formed over the past few hours heading into the Philippines, tropical depression number three. And they've, they're already seeing some pretty stormy conditions. And they will see some more with this tropical system heading through. Throughout the region, they're seeing a lot of heavy rains. It is monsoon season, but I think it is a little bit more intense this season as it has been dramatically increasing year by year especially through these regions. Let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and as well, morning dew, daily events worldwide. And we're going to start out here, Calgary, Alberta, home base, where, yes, it's been very nice today. Uh, ahead of all the space weather, there was not much. We had a clear blue sky all day. And then daily evaporation rains have melted a lot of snow off the foothills. So we're expecting thunderstorms tomorrow. But big, cool, high-pressure ridge still hanging around parts of northern Canada. 
big low pressure system hang, hanging out over Alaska, but it's a warm one. So we're expecting some warm temperatures here afterwards in the long range forecast, but that cool high pressure ridge is gonna keep things abnormally cool for parts of Canada as low pressure systems coming out of Alberta will bring snow parts of the prairies and into Northern Ontario. But southward, anything below the border, we're seasonal, somewhat seasonal. Things are gonna be heating up and you can see here, Alberta Clipper forming later in the week and as well the Colorado Low. And watch for stormy conditions throughout the Gulf and as well Mexico into Colorado. Long line of moisture here stretching across the Atlantic. Five day forecast still showing this huge line of moisture. Wow, crazy stuff. It looks like there's gonna be a low pressure system wrapped up in it. And I do believe that that was Andres. I don't know, I can't confirm that, but we'll see. Overlooking Europe, big low pressure system still affecting you and another one coming in to the United Kingdom in the long range forecast. So gray days and spring-like weather all across Europe. West Indies, no major weather events to talk about, except for coastal rains through India. And then, yeah, that's ahead of the forming tropical cyclone. Looks like it's going to head just a little bit east of Tunisia. Quite a big system heading through China as well. They could see some disastrous situations with all of this rain heading into them in the coming days. As well, overlooking Indonesia, Malaysia. That tropical storm will not form into anything serious and daily evaporation rains continue throughout the equator there. Big high pressure ridge moving into Australia. Going to dry things out and cool things off. Australia, or sorry, New Zealand, high pressure ridge moving out and big line and wave of moisture heading in to you guys for the weekend. Overlooking the Pacific, big low pressure system northwest. Heading straight north and a big high pressure system keeping things dry across the Hawaiian Islands. No major weather events to talk about through South America. No developing. As well through Africa, no major weather events to report or have developed since last night. Except for these extreme temperatures, extreme warm temperatures that are going to be moving in later in the week. As well, parts of Iran. Woo hot. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern. Big low pressure system still just vigorously spinning around the southern. Thanks for watching today. Much love to y'all. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the